Hey everyone, um, yeah, this is kind of cool, kind of crazy, don't know what the hell Nintendo's thinking, you guys can see it over here, uh, it's been like three years almost since Super Mario Party came out, right, very well selling game, you know, 10 plus million, top seller, uh, I really enjoyed Super Mario Party, uh, but one of my main critiques against Super Mario Party back in the day was that its online modes were just kind of crap right like we didn't have uh the ability to play most of the mini games online and you couldn't play any of the actual mario party board games online and nintendo has now changed that three years later with the biggest update i i call this the biggest update they've done to a game ever this basically takes super mario party to a whole new level a whole new level we already were considering using Super Mario Party for our upcoming uh, E3 stream out in June, where Eric and I can go one-on-one -on -one in mini games. Maybe play against some of you guys in mini games. They just took this to a whole new level because now you can play full-on Mario Party matches online. You could do the board game mode. You could also do two v two mode, uh, and they unlocked I think seventy plus mini games to play online as well. This is what should have been Mario Party Day. One. That's what's crazy about this. This should have been the day one version of Super Mario Party. And if not day one, at least within the first six months, three plus years later, what the hell is Nintendo thinking? Um, I'm happy. I'm not complaining they did this. It's just, why? Now? Really? Huh. Didn't see this one coming, did ya? This is one of those ones where weren't rumors or leaks. It just kind of flew under the radar. And here we are with a Super Mario Party update from... The heavens? I, uh, how else can you explain this? This is like the grace of the Nintendo gods just washing upon us. What we've been wanting from this thing from day one. So, yeah, I'm pretty pumped uh, that this is being added. And it makes me wonder, you know, if it took them this long to add this to the game, how? what, what were their thoughts behind the development of Super Mario Party at the time? Because why would it take three years to add this, right? I clearly don't think this has been in development for three years. Maybe, you know, maybe they started development a year later after hearing all the complaints. Uh, them adding this also means, like, are we not going to get another Mario Party game on Switch? I say that because oftentimes most platforms have multiple Mario Party games. But now they added this. And this would have been one of the big key features to add to a new Mario Party game. And I wonder, were they working on a new Mario Party game that was going to have Heavy Online? And Nintendo said, screw it, let's just throw it on the old game. I don't know. All I know is this is awesome. Now, one thing I would love to see them do, and this I wish would have been part of this supposed update. Uh, well, not supposed, this is an update. Is I wish they would have added more actual boards. I think there's only four in the game, if I remember right, which is nothing they used to have like 10 plus boards sometimes well maybe not 10 plus, but like 10 9 or 10 boards uh in some of the older mario party games and they only put four in this one kind of a big letdown the four boards are great but i mean let's get some more variety now this does give a second life obviously to super mario party and now a game that i haven't played in forever is now back on my radar of games that i'm probably gonna play i'll probably play it on live stream against people i'll probably you know, incorporate it in our E3 uh, stuff where we were going to play a little bit of Smash and we'll play a little bit of Mario Party, Mario Kart. I, <laughs> Nintendo, I'm glad you listened to your fans. We've been wanting this forever. So thank you. But also, why? Why did it take so long to get something that was so obvious? This should have been a selling point of your game three years ago. I guess maybe you're trying to make it a selling point now. Are you trying to get like a third wind of sales? <laughs> for this game um it'd be interesting if this update would have came if they would have dropped the price of the game at the same point but you know it is what it is uh i want you guys to actually tell me what you feel about this like why did it take nintendo so long to add something that was so obvious should have been their day one in in the year i mean even last year okay you, you say they, they they weren't focusing on online whatever but then the pandemic happens Maybe that's why we have this update. The pandemic happened and Nintendo's like, man, you know what really sucks about the pandemic happening? We can't do couch co-op anymore. Maybe this game should have had online the whole time. Honestly, now that I think about it, the pandemic's why this happened. I'm just going to say it right now. Without the pandemic, we don't get this. So I guess I don't want to say thanks to the pandemic, but like thanks to Nintendo for realizing because of the pandemic that couch co-op is cool. But you should also include the ability to do it without it. I'll give you an example. It takes two, right? Joseph Farah, you know, the guy said F the Oscars, all that. Amazing guy, made a way out. 
Uh, here's the thing. In It Takes Two, it is amazing as a couch co-op game. But you still have the option to play with a friend, a partner, online. Because he realizes, hey, look, you might not be able to play with the person you want to play with in person. Even though it's best experienced that way. Obviously, Mario Party, best experienced in person. Smash Bros, best experienced in person. Mario Kart, best experienced in person. But all these games have options to play online. Well, Mario Party really didn't until now. Like It should have been there day one to understand that not all of us have that ability. Obviously, some of us are adults with families and lives where we can't always get together with some of our friends, uh, even though I don't really have any friends. But you know what I mean. I uh, that's just me. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Also, uh, be sure to check out our giveaway going on right now. We're giving away $100 cash money down in the pinned comment or the description. kind of teaches you uh, how to enter. Uh, we'll be announcing that winner here, uh, I think, next week or this weekend, one of the two. God, May 1st. We'll announce it May 1st. Uh, and then after that, uh, we have no giveaways happening next month. Uh, we are focusing all of our efforts for giveaways and other things into our massive E3 coverage that begins, as far as we're aware, on June 12th, uh, unless some stuff comes up before then. Also, there's some other things happening today. There is a Monster Hunter event, uh, which I may or may not be live streaming. I have to see how the timing lines up for me. There's also a State of Play happening this Thursday, which I also plan to be live stream reacting to. Remember, we do cover more than just Nintendo here. So some people that were wondering, hey, when's your next live stream coming? Those are kind of two you can look forward to. If you're looking for more of a general Q&A live stream, discussion live stream, uh, that's going to ha happen sporadically. Could happen tonight. Could happen whenever. Because I basically only do them when my fiance has to work late. Because then, hey, I might as well fill that time with something and why not spend it with you guys? Uh, so anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, are you excited that Super Mario Party finally has a much requested feature? Uh, and why do you think it took them so long? Again, I, I presented my theory. Now you let me know yours. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel Rubble Jance from Nintendo Prime. And I'll catch each of you in the next video.